What's going on guys, it's Matthew here with Gadget University and I'm here to show off the Qi inductive wireless charging pad and the wireless charging bag for the Droid Charge. Um, it's been out for a while now and not, nothing new. Right now, uh, if you want to do this, you have to make sure that your phone is what they call Qi enabled. Um, what that means is that on the inside of your phone, you will see something like this. It will have like a metal conductor inside of the phone. Also, you can check your instruction manual, things like that. In addition to having this on your phone, you're going to need a charging back. Typically, they range between 20 and 30 bucks. Um, and it's really simple to install, so we're going to go ahead and do that for you. As you see, it's just a regular charging back. Sometimes they're a little bit thicker. Um, other times they are uh, noticeable uh, from the original battery back. Um, so we'll see in a moment here. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it open. Okay, so I can already tell already it's a little bit thicker than a regular battery back. So let's see if that works great with my original case. But here's the difference between them. Um, look from side to side, they look almost identical. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. You see here, they look a little bit. The one on the left is the inductive charger, the one on the right is not. Right now, Ryzen sells them for the Incredible 2, the Thunderbolt, the LG Revolution, and the uh, Droid X, I believe, as well as the uh, Droid X2 and the Droid. Uh, Joy Bionic. So you see right here, this is that inductive uh, part of the phone. I mean, excuse me, the back cover. So you see, if I put this on here, these two are going to match up here. So the installation, like I said, is simple. Just snap it on. Already, I can feel the phone's a little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Already, I can tell you right now, the phone is a little bit heavier. It actually feels a little bit nicer, um, especially with the Joy Charge in the plastic body. Um, it feels look very good. I don't know if it's going to fit on my original case. We can see that right now So here's the snapback cover case that uh, Verizon sells And it does fit It actually does fit. Um, it's a very very snug fit But it does fit and you no longer have that lay on the lip Excuse me lay on the table design because the phone kind of pokes out a little bit But it does fit so if you guys are interested in that um, it is a little bit thicker, so if you have a case, maybe like a uh, otter box or a form-fitting case, it probably won't fit as well um, as it did before. So, in addition to having that charger, charging back, guys, you're going to need a, a actual charging pad. This is $69.99. It is a single charger. Um, this is from Verizon. It's universal, so it's going to work with any uh, type of uh, phone that you may have as long as it has a wireless charging back or it has it built into it Also, it's going to work with any type of uh, devices that are Qi enabled uh, There are adapters out there for just about anything um, Available um, you can go to energizer.com and see if they have an adapter for you uh, The power mat. I'm not sure if that is compatible. Uh, I'm not I can't test that right now I don't have anything to test it with uh, the Duracell chargers as well some of them use it a little bit of a different technology, so it may not work right away. But uh, here's the charging pad. It is Verizon branded. It's very thin, very minimal, so it's not going to uh, take up too much space on your desk. It would be really nice if they started putting this inside of uh, cars. I would love for them to start putting cheap charging pads in cars, and you can just lay your phone on your dashboard or under your dashboard and you have a charger. So if you give me a moment, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the wall so we can see how this works. Just give me one moment. Okay, so once you have it charged up, excuse me, once you have it plugged in, um, you see the indicators across the top. It has a battery icon and the power icon. And all you're going to do from there is just sit your phone there. Now, um, I don't know if you can see this, but when you place it on there, it made a beeping noise and then the battery turns green. So let's go ahead and zoom in real quick so you can see that. 
now the battery is green so now you can see that it is charging as well as there's a power indicator right here that will show you that the pad does have power uh, also let me go ahead and turn the brightness up but if uh, you look closely when I place it on the charger you will be able to see an indicator that the device knows that it is being charged wirelessly okay so we'll do that again so I'm taking it off and it says charging stopped removed from wireless charger place it back on makes a beeping noise a wireless charger detected your phone is now being charged I'm not 100% sure how fast this is going to charge your phone um, even though this is made by LG this pad it does work with other phones uh, Samsung chargers, excuse me, Samsung devices usually take a long time to charge. Um, it looks like the input is uh, 19 volts, output is 5 volts. Let's compare that to a Samsung charger, which is 5 volts. So it looks like it should charge it at about the same speed as a regular traditional charger we'll have to see i'll definitely let you guys know uh, how it plays out but um thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video peace